Hello, my friends. It is time once again for The Morning Mindset. I'm so glad you're with me. My name is Kerry Green. If you're new to The Morning Mindset, I just thought I'd introduce myself. I am a pastor. I'm a Bible teacher. And for the purposes of The Morning Mindset, I'm your spiritual coach, encouraging you and helping you to get your mind aligned with the truth of God's Word. And we do that by going through the Scriptures. So if you have a copy of the Scriptures with you, an app on your phone, whatever you want to use, look at John chapter 14. We're going to look at verses 16 and 17 today, and we're going to be digging into a very important and powerful question. Who is the Holy Spirit? We're going to get to that in just a moment. Before we do, I want to remind those of you who've been listening for quite a while about our nonprofit. It's called Not a Needy Person, and the spirit of it is to allow believers in Christ who have tangible needs to receive help from other believers in Christ who can help meet those needs. And this happens all across the globe. You can find out more about this ministry by going to notaneedyperson.org. You'll also find a link to it in the description for this episode. Okay, let's look at John chapter 14, verses 16 through 17. This is Jesus speaking, and he's speaking to those who he has defined as believing in him. Okay, now if you want to go back to the October 5th episode, I spoke about what that actually means to believe in Jesus in the way he's meaning. But with that said, let's look at what he says here in verses 16 and 17. He says, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you, let's stop for a moment. <laughs> let's just let the importance of what he's saying here soak in. Jesus, the Son of God, is going to ask the Father to give us something. Friends, doesn't that sound appealing to you? That Jesus is going to ask the Father to give you something? And what do you think is going to happen in response? Well, the Father definitely is going to do what the Son asks him to do. They have that kind of relationship. So this is exciting from the moment he starts to say it. He says, I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper. Now notice he's talking about a person here. And by using the word another, it sounds like he's saying in addition to me. I will ask the Father. He will give you another helper to be with you forever. So friends, think about those times in your life when you feel very lonely you feel alone in carrying out the tasks you have to do or to face the circumstances that you have to face or to carry the burdens that you have to carry. Jesus is saying, for those who truly believe in him, he has made an arrangement with the Father to provide for them a helper who will be with them forever. Friends, forever. This helper will be with us forever. And he defines who it is in verse 17. He says, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him for he dwells with you and will be in you. Now, remember who the primary people are that Jesus is speaking to right here. He's speaking to his 12 disciples. Actually, there's 11 of them at this time because Judas Iscariot has already gone off to betray him. And so he's telling them, the Holy Spirit has been with you already. Remember when I sent you out to minister to people and you had the power to heal, you had the power to do things in my name. That was because the Holy Spirit was with you. He's saying, you know him. He dwells with you, but he will be, notice the tiny little two letter preposition Jesus uses here. He will be in you. So friends, when we go back to our original question, who is the Holy Spirit? What do we see from this verse? We see, first of all, he is a person. So get it out of your head that the Holy Spirit is some sort of power source or aura or uh, some kind of an influence. No, the Holy Spirit is a person. Jesus describes him with personal masculine pronouns. And he says, this helper is from the Father, and he is here to help you and me. And not only that, he's going to live in us. Now, friends, we're going to talk about this more in tomorrow's episode. But right now, just let that settle on you. That Jesus himself has provided for you to have a divine helper 
for the rest of your life and even into eternity. That's what forever means. It means not only now, but in eternity. The Spirit of Truth is going to be with us and be in us. Lord Jesus, this just blows my mind. And it almost explodes my heart to think that you have given me some of yourself to live in me. We're going to dig into what that means a little bit more. But Father, today, encourage us with this truth. Establish us in confidence because of this truth. And give us the boldness and strength we need to face today because of this truth that your Holy Spirit is in us. And please don't forget about our nonprofit that enables believers just like you to submit their tangible physical needs for consideration and other believers just like you to come along and help them with those needs. You can find out more at notaneedyperson.org.